Roger, it looks pretty fresh to me, over. Suppress! Low! Lower! Lower! Wait! We good? Go to a window! Lower! Target! That'd be so sweet if somehow, some way, like they managed to like no, get them. Waste of my time. We'd have a few no, 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 not all that. Just like bring out like some sort of cake. <laughs> Over around here! Oh, you got tape on you? House is clear. Wait. All right,
that light? Hey, Zach, let's go. Hurry up. Hey, Smitty. Where's Smith at? Smith. Hey, Toronto. Take your guys. Hey, you know, sorry about getting up here. Smith. Hey, tell it. Tell it. Hey, provide us overwatch on that building. What? Everybody else, Mayor, Mayor. Wait for the rest of the team. Hey! What? Bring it down, everybody. There you go. Still gotta worry about the deadbolt now, right? Yeah, we're really pumped up, ready to go, eliminate all the problems because I think uh, all the surrounding cities around Iraq, everything was stemming from Fallujah. You know, they were coming in and coming and going pretty much as they pleased. You know, we lost a lot of guys, and a lot of guys got hurt from just uh, roadside IEDs, and you never really saw an enemy. So I don't know one person in my squad, my platoon, that wasn't like, hell yeah, let's go. We're taking this place down. It's going to be a hell of a ride. Got small rockets, AT4s, main tank rounds, tow missiles, anything. If we knew there was somebody in a building, we used our snipers. We, we took the enemy out before we even had to go up and clear it the best we could. And if we had to go in there and clear it, then we went in with everything we had. 203s, fragmentation grenades, clear by fire, use exactly what you have before you have to stand toe to toe. You have you have it, so why walk in walk into a fight without using it? One of my squad leaders, you know, he was shot through the helmet, but it was just a flesh wound, thank God, but he's one of my best squad leaders, and it really hurt to lose somebody like that. A lot of Marines looked up to, uh, to that corporal, but it just felt weird seeing somebody uh, get shot that you're standing right next to at that moment. Yeah, I mean, you always care about the range you left and right, but I went pretty much worrying about, you know, just getting out alive, and then it kind of went from that to I had you know, guys to worry about, plus myself, you know. It, people in a leadership position, it puts a strain on them in a combat environment. It's really hard to, to keep on pushing and stay real focused when you've got, you know, close friends who've just been killed. You know, if anything, it provided a the fire and a passion for them to continue the, the job that we started. My Marines did exceptionally well. I was, I was surprised beyond all belief. Not one of them was hesitant. Went in looking for the bad guys. They were real, they were happy to do it. It was something that they trained to do. It's the reason they joined the Marine Corps.
I think that it sent a message out there, you know, that you can't you can't have like a safe hold. You can you can't have a city that you could just you know hide in and operate out of. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of really evil people in that city who were doing all they could to, to try to stop the progress that has been has been made in Iraq in the in the last uh, 18 months. I think now the the new government that's going to be elected in January is going to be set up for success. I definitely feel I've made, you know, on my level, some sort of contribution to the greater effort that our country's trying to get done here in Iraq. We did it. You know, we took down the hardest city in Iraq. This is, this is what people join the Marine Corps to do. You might be in the Marine Corps for 20 years and never get this chance again to take down a full-fledged city full of insurgents, and we did it.